Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Jennifer and I'm an artist and illustrator. Uh, I've made this huge pack of um, illustrator pattern brushes that I have been using for making flowers and mandalas and um, other things for coloring pages. So I'm going to show you how I make them and then I'm going to show you how I use them. So I'm just going to show you how to make a basic one so you get the idea. I'm going to um, first make uh, a line at uh, zero degrees and I'll make it two inches and then I will center that to the artboard and I'll make another line at 90 degrees uh, two inches Okay, and center that to the artboard and then I'll hit V on the keyboard and select both and I'm going to lower the opacity and if you don't have that open it's under Windows <coughs> Transparency I'll lower the opacity of those and I'm going to lock that layer and create a new layer so now I'm going to take the ellipse tool which is the keyboard shortcut L I'll double click on here and I'm going to make an ellipse that is maybe one inches wide by two inches high and say OK. And I'll center that to the artboard as well. And I'm going to give this a fill of white and I'll leave the stroke at one point. And why is there no fill? Oh. Raise the transparency, the opacity at this one at 100%. Okay, and then I'm going to hit Control or Command on the keyboard and C to copy it, and Control or Command F to paste it in front. And then I'm going to go to Object, Path, Offset Path, and actually this is good, so it's at minus 0.12 inch, and hit OK and then I'm going to select the rectangle tool and I'm going to cover the bottom half completely and hit V on the keyboard for the selection tool I'm going to select everything so I'm going to knock out this bottom half so I'm going to hit shift and M on the keyboard to go to the, pa the uh, shape builder tool and I'm going to hold the alt key to get that minus sign and I'm going to drag that through the whole area that I don't want and hit V on the keyboard, hit Control shift a to deselect and I think that is good for the first one select everything, hit Control g to group it and then drag it over to your brush panel hit pattern brush, OK and then go to uh, no corners and go to tints and that's all we need to do hit OK and I'll just make one more um, I'll do a line straight up the center of this one hit control shift A to deselect hit L on the keyboard to get the um, ellipse tool hold down alt to drag out from the center Hit B on the key or A on the keyboard to get the direct selection tool, and I will click on the bottom point, I guess, and I will make that a corner point. Hit V on the keyboard for selection tool, and I think I will put a fill on that. There we go, and maybe I'll just do something like that that's good and now I want uh, this the repeat to be the same as this shapes repeat I'm going to select this shape and I'm just going to lock it so I'm going to take a line tool and I'm going to draw it a line so hold the shift key so it matches the length of this petal and I'll select the line and these other two shapes here and hit control or command on the Mac and G to group those together 
and then I'll just drag that into my brush panel. Hit pattern brush, say OK. Remove the corners. Okay. So now I will um, just turn those off, make a new layer. And I'm going to create some actions. And the first action I'll make is I'll take the ellipse tool. Well, first of all, I will start the action, which is if you don't have the action window open, it's under window actions. I will hit this uh, create new action button here. And I will say, uh, actually say, start flower and I'm going to give this a color of orange, say record and I'll take the ellipse tool, double click on the artboard and I'm going to say 2 inches by 2 inches I'm going to say OK. I'll align it to the center of the artboard and I'll give it a stroke of 0.75 and I'm going to give it a fill and then I'm going to say stop recording and then I'm going to create a, another action. So I'm going to click on this create new action. And I'm going to call this scale down. And I will give this one red. And I'll say OK. And I'll hit S on the keyboard, enter. And since I'm scaling down, I'm going to scale down 5% each time. So I'm going to put this at 95, tab, say OK and stop recording and then I'll do another one to scale up so create new action I think I gave that orange go here say scale up so record hit S on the keyboard hit enter and put this one at 105 say OK stop recording so now if you go to button modes You've got these three actions. So if we take and delete our lips right there, and we click on the start flower, there we have that already done for us. So now when you have the stroke selected, and we're going to click on the brush that we created, the first one, and there we have our flower, and it's going to evenly distribute around the uh, ellipse. And uh, the size of the petals, or the number of petals, is going to be determined by the stroke width. So we put it down to 0.75, then you have more. Put it down to 0.5, and then go back up to 1. And you will go into My Preferences, General, and OK. Yeah, we want this unticked, but I want to check in my actions if I had ticked that scale okay so you have to have this scale stroke and effects clicked when you create your actions and scale down Yeah, scale down is not working. I did something wrong there. Okay, so let's... Click on scale down and hit uh, begin recording. And hit S, enter. 95, tab, make sure scale stroke and effect are clicked. Hit OK and hit stop recording. There we go. And now I'm going to go to preferences, general. There. Okay, so now I'll go to button mode and I can scale up and scale down without uh, 
disturbing the number of petals, but if I drag, then that's going to change the number of petals. So control Z. Okay, so I'm going to, um, I'll just start fresh so you can see. Okay, start in flower there, and we'll put our new brush on there. Uh, make sure that the stroke is black. There we are. Let's put that down to one right there. And then I'm going to hit Control C to copy and Control F to paste in front. And I'll click on the other brush we created. And I'm going to remove the fill. And then I'm going to scale down. And there is, we have a flower. Let's select everything. And I'm going to hit Control G to group. And I'm going to go to Object, Expand Appearance. And then I'm going to put all of the line weights to 0.75. And we have, actually, let's undo that for a second. and let's take a lips tool control shift A to deselect and let's make an ellipse with a fill and center it drag it up to here Now we can select everything, hit Control G to group, go object, expand appearance, and then we can put it to 0.75, and all of our line weights are the same. And we can scale it down, and all our line weights will stay the same. Okay, so now I'm going to <coughs> use the brushes that I made. And I'm going to start a new flower, but I'm actually want it to be bigger than this because um, I'm going to make a mandala. So I'm going to drag this out. And I'm going to select this one. No. Okay, so I'll select this one and I'll say Control C to copy, Control F to paste in front. And I will use maybe this one, and I will scale down. Control C to copy, Control F to paste in front, and I'll use this one. And control copy and control F to paste in front and I'll go to this one and maybe scale down one there. Control copy, control F, command on the Mac. Go for this one and scale down. And control copy, control F, and maybe let's just make some circles. And scale down. I think I'll get rid of this outside one. And control C or command on the Mac, control F. And let's do 
this one again and control scale down control copy actually I want to make that one bigger so it's yeah control copy control F and let's use uh, this one this one and scale down maybe that needs to be rotated a little bit control copy control F and let's just do one more maybe this one and there you have it there is a mandala and I'll just select the whole thing and say control G or command on the Mac and then go object expand appearance and let's put all the line weights at 0.75 and there we have it we have a mandala with all the line weights the same very easy to make so thank you for watching my channel if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel thank you and i'll see you next time